Today, we're going to unbox and do an on-feet review of the new Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. Let's go! If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We do constant giveaways on the channel. In fact, we're still in the middle of our Yeezy 700 Inertia giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now, follow me on IG, join our Facebook community. The rest of the mechanics can be found in the description box. Good luck, guys. Now, before we get to the sneaker, I feel like we have to do some sort of like history lesson because I'm pretty sure not everybody here knows the history of the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. So to those who don't know, uh, this was actually inspired by a uniform that Michael Jordan wore during a 1986 it exhibition game against Italy. So to make a long story short, he jumped, did a dunk, smashed the backboard, literally glass splattering all er, everywhere. And the dope thing about this is that if you review the video, I'll put the link down below to the video of him doing that. Uh, he wasn't actually hit by the glass because he was just, you know, coming in at, with such force and speed that he easily went past the backboard board after it broke and the guys who caught the glass were his opponent so that was just really you know nice but anyway so the color that he wore uh, the uniform that was what inspired the shattered backboards uh, 1.0 if you want to call it now this new sneaker is the third iteration of the shattered backboards and it had a lot of hype but unfortunately fast forward today the resale is not that good people were you know on the fence it was kind of polarizing because it was kind of different for a Jordan 1. So let's get to the unboxing and you guys will know once I take it out of the box. So it comes in this typical Jordan 1 black red box. You have the details of the sneaker. I did go through to size on this one, size 12. And I was able to pop this from Cop Garden. And if you pop the box open, I actually already wore this. So the tissue paper is at the bottom. This is what the Shattered Backboard 3.0 looks like. Now, as you guys can clearly see, the big difference and the main point of contention is really the upper. If you take a look at the upper part of the sneaker, you have this crinkled patent leather for black and starfish or orange. It's actually called starfish, but the color, but it, it's actually orange. So, so this one literally looks like it was smothered in either Vaseline or it's like a glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. So the gloss, as you guys can see, that shine, that shimmer from any angle, it makes it look like, man, it, it, it looks really weird. And I think a lot of people were kind of thrown aback with that design and the material that they used for it. In fact, it smells different. Doesn't smell like your typical leather Jordan one. I didn't, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, so this is the reason why I think it's so polarizing and why a lot of traditional fans of the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard and even the Jordan 1 in general don't like the sneaker. Now moving forward, if you go to the bottom, you have this almost like vanilla or beige color for the midsole, which is kind of nice, gives it a little bit more character. At least it's not your typical like white rubber midsole. And then you have that same color for the outsole. Now this actually comes with two laces. I actually swapped in already the orange one, but by default, it comes in black laces. So what do I think about the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0? Well, to be honest, it looks much better in hand and it looks much better when you have it you know with you as opposed to the pictures the pictures kind of over exaggerated the gloss if you actually wear this it doesn't look as bad the shine is not as pronounced uh so it's actually kind of more acceptable if you ask me actually i'm digging it after wearing it for quite a while now now style wise uh, i would suggest that you go with the black one if you want it to be a little more classic and subtle uh, if you want to go all hype beast and more streetwear then you can actually pop in the orange laces like what i did over here i just honestly prefer the black ones the orange are just here because i did them on feet but i will definitely swap back uh, the black laces for this pair in when, when I wear this again maybe sometime next week. In terms of comfort, my main issue is that Jordan 1s aren't really the most comfortable sneaker out there especially if you are like me with wide and flat feet. There's not enough support, there's not enough cushioning despite it being a basketball shoe. Yes, it is a basketball shoe but it is like three decades or almost four decades old for a basketball sneaker so you can't really expect it to match the technology that we've seen in recent basketball sneakers that have come out. So do I recommend it? If you are a fan of the Shattered Backboard line, I think it's a must-have just because it is part of the line. If you are a fan of the Jordan 1, 
a silhouette then it's probably also a must have because the first time i've seen like a critical patent leather design for a jordan one that's kind of nice right uh, but if you are just getting into sneakers what i would recommend is that you take a look at all the other leather jordan ones out there that are kind of easier to wear uh, because this one entails some thought <laughs> uh, of what you will wear for your pants and your shirt before throwing them on so it's a little bit more complex to pull off uh, in my opinion so if you're a beginner you're just getting into the hobby it might be safer to go for the obsidians and even the defiance though as weird as they look like the gym reds or the more classic such as the shadows or the game royal so take a look at those first before you try to figure this one out now what this shoe actually did was actually reignite or ignite my love for the original shattered backboards i actually don't have a pair here in my collection but now i want to get them so bad because i was reminded of the story behind the shoe i was reminded of the of the color of orange and black and it was just it just reminded me of how awesome uh, the look was of the jordan one silhouette so i am now officially on the hunt for an OG Jordan 1 uh, shattered backboard or maybe the, the second version as long as it's still in good condition uh, preferably size 12 size 13 so if you are watching this and you have that and you're thinking of selling hit me up on IG help a brother out apologies for the flying hair the fan is kind of hitting me this way and i wasn't able to put on some good hair product but anyway so with that out of the way that actually wraps up our review for the jordan one shattered backboard 3.0 now for our celebrity spotting of the day that was actually used to be like a series but now i'm thinking of just making it like you know a, a segment in the vlogs that i make kind of like the power up words of wisdom that i do uh related to the shoe we have chris paul and he actually did a custom of the Shattered Backboards 3.0 and he turned it into a low. So he literally cut off the upper part that you guys see here near the ankle and he turned it into a low version of this sneaker. And it kind of looks good, guys. I mean, for some reason, the crinkled patent leather, in at least in my eyes, kind of works better uh, with a low top versus a high top. Maybe because it's less of the crinkled shiny leather that you have. That's probably the reason why it's working for me. But hey check out the pictures and if you want to do that if you figure out how to do that without butchering the shoe entirely let me know i might reach out to you and have you do it for my pair and for our power up words of wisdom for the day guys i just want to remind all of you as we enter uh, november and then december that this is the season to be charitable this is the season to be generous so for this coming week if you can be generous to one person an office mate a friend uh, a family member a loved one uh, treat them out to lunch buy them something nice buy them like food or snacks or a chocolate bar whatever it is that you can afford and just practice generosity this week uh, we're only in this world for one lifetime guys so might as well make the most of it by touching others lives by blessing as many as we can before we move on and join our creator in eternity and with that said i hope you guys are all having an amazing week please don't forget to join our giveaway don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on instagram and don't forget to follow uh, to join our facebook community the facebook community is actually really fun so much interaction there and we actually put in a lot more guidelines and rules and i'm putting in more moderators so that we can turn it into some sort of like safe space for like-minded individuals like me like you those who have watched this channel love sneakers uh, and love the culture that we're trying to put together uh, and lastly i uh, just want to throw this out there Kanye's album were just launched, of course. It's Jesus is King. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about it. Did you listen to it already? Did you find it nice? Did you find it bad? What do you think of the new Kanye? I know it's totally different from the topic that we have, especially since this is a Jordan 1. But hey, I'm, I'm just really curious. I actually listened to the album and I found it super interesting. Uh, kind of liked a lot of the songs there. And I just want to hear from you guys on what you think uh, the new album is all about. And if you are actually listening to it and enjoying it. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog for today. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.